Hey there, YouTube buddies. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. Oh my goodness, I've had a great few days here. Tim McCormick, well you saw Tim McCormick on the show on Thursday. Him and uh, Johnny Duncan, also from Culture Biologics. These guys, Culture Biologics, they make the trigger. We're here hanging out with me, doing videos here, hanging out at my house. We went and got some food, had a couple beers, sat around the campfire my in my garage there. It's been great, and I tell you, those guys, they're some smart guys. And so what we did with them as far as the videos, we did a bunch of videos. I'm gonna be rolling those out over the next few weeks, but the one today is the first one that I'm excited about. It's about foliar feeding. Uh, I don't know why I turned around. I was gonna, something, I don't know. Foliar feeding. Uh, he went into the details of using, that's what it was, nectar for the gods and using trigger and a few other things, how you do the basics of foliar feeding. And also gets a little bit into bloom chaos. A lot of you have been talking about bloom chaos. We did that. We also did another video about Bloom Chaos, but uh, this should get you a, a very solid feel for Nectar Fam foliar feeding. So watch the video and I'll talk to you after. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking about foliar feeding with Nectar. So this is kind of like the advanced Nectar. How do you do it? First stage of advanced. So if I'm using Nectar for the Gods, I'm using Cultured, some other stuff, what's your basic foliar you build from there, but your, your basic kind of advanced foliar feeding? So, I make it real simple. I don't like to overcomplicate it. Mm -hmm. I like to simply make it your wedding agent, so like your yucca, your um, your kelp, any kelp product you do. I personally like Poseidon's Dime because it's the best, best kelp product on the market. Mm -hmm. um, then I add Trigger, which is a growth promoter of amino acids and calcium and aloe vera. Mm -hmm. And then I add some photosynthetic bacteria, Photo Plus. Okay. So real simple and it's real straight to the point. We want to promote growth and at the same time, we want to promote the, the uh, transformation of photons into energy in the plant on the foliage. Okay. All these, fo all these photons are hitting the plant. Let's convert them to energy and let's give the plant a little boost to kick in the growth spurts, right? So I have four products, Hygieia, Poseidon Zyme, Trigger, Photo Plus. The um, mixing is real simple. I put my trigger in there first. So I use a quarter tablespoon per um, a quart. Put so that you get like there. a quart uh, measuring cup, yep. you fill it up with water, yep. and then you put uh Well, I put the trigger in there first, oh, then sure. I fill it up with okay. water. And we'll do a video about we'll, that. We'll, yeah, yeah, yeah that we'll do your strength. And then I add the Poseidon Time, I add the wetting agent, so the yucca, and then I add the Photo Plus. And what this does is we stimulate growth, uh -huh. we promote energy intake inside the plant, mm -hmm. and at the same time, the plant doesn't have to try to get those things to the roots. We can have it access through the leaves. Okay. And so it kind of complements anytime you're feeding or if you have a stressed out plant, we like to foliar spray. Okay. If, you're, if it's about to be stressed or you know you you might have a dry spell or you know it's drinking real fast, I'm not sure when they're gonna be thirsty again. Okay. You can, you okay. can kind of prevent oh, some of the stress by providing the precursors that the plant would normally um, use to prevent the stress from happening. So like, you know, you're going to repot, you know, the roots aren't going to be happy about that. You'd foliar feed before that, during that, after that kind Relieving of situation. Stress, totally. And, okay. and when you expose the root ball to the light or yeah. even any air, uh -huh. it causes stress in the plant. Sure. When you put it in a new area, a new zone, it can cause it to get stressed. Sure. So foliar spraying can kind of get past that. If you're having uptake problems or you're, you're locked out and your plants are just starting to get really deficient uh -huh. or you're getting toxicity of some kind, foliar spray. That will allow the plant to kind of keep taking in things, but kind of get okay. things on the on the leaves on sure. the surface of the leaf, uh -huh. so the plant doesn't have to just take get everything inside the plant strictly strictly from the roots themselves. Okay. So, um, cool thing about kelp uh, is it has a bunch of micronutrients. Uh -huh. So if your plant's deficient in micronutrients, your your plant's struggling to kind of grow. Sure. Put some kelp on the foliage, and what you can you'll see that it goes into the plant and kind of gives the plant an extra boost to kind of get the growth that it needs. Okay, and a, a quicker path to the to the health of the plant than putting it in the soil and having to try to have it go find it. Yep, and it, okay. it's kind of like a, 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 you have a source, so uh -huh. you have the roots, uh -huh. and then you have the sink, which are like the leaves or like the, the fruits. Sure, sure, so sure. So the okay. plant is always trying to take it from the source uh -huh. and putting it into the sinks. Right. So what we like to do is we like to bypass the source completely uh -huh. and just spray it on the sinks. So right. wherever you spray it, it sinks into the leaves and goes into the pockets and the, the places in the leaf that the leaf needs it at that time. Uh, you're the plant doesn't plant do its job. Exactly. It doesn't have to go boom, 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 all the way up. Okay. Um, the next thing is that a lot of people foliar spray at Bloom Chaos. And this is your addition to your Bloom Chaos foliar sprays. Okay. And the reason we like to do that is because the trigger has 6% chelated calcium. 
And calcium, like Scott talks about, is a big molecule that has a hard time getting right. into the plant. Uh -huh. So when you dissolve these, this calcium into amino acids, the plant can actually uh, recognize the amino acids and then the plant doesn't have to open up its stoma, its pore, uh -huh. to accept it in. The amino oh, acid okay. can just float right through the leaf and go right into the sink. Uh, okay. And calcium is highly immobile, which means once a plant takes it up and deposits it, that's where it's, it's going, where it's gonna go. Yeah, uh -huh. So like it can't be like, hey, left side of the plant, throw some calcium over to the right side of the plant, oh, like it came okay. with phosphorus. Sure, like sure, it came sure. With other elements. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so what we wanted to do is make sure that you not only have some micronutrients being sprayed on the leaves, like your kelp, and get some stimulating okay, growth. Okay. We wanted some chelated calcium to land in the sure. leaf too, so the plant didn't have to fight to put calcium in the plant. You right. can spray it, and it goes everywhere in the plant, and immediately absorbs inside the plant. So this is really important when you're using Bloom Chaos because Bloom Chaos is going to tell the plant to use all the calcium it can in its sink sure. and its reserves, okay. use it all up. And so what the trigger does is it helps prime the plant with a whole bunch of calcium loaded and into the leaves right there. and then the next day, after you, so you spray this day one, day two, spray your Bloom Chaos. Okay. And the trigger will prime the plant to use all the calcium so you don't have any negative effects from the bloom chaos like you can. Because uh -huh. if you don't have enough calcium, you're gonna have a negative effect from the bloom chaos. Okay. The trigger primes the plant with enough calcium so your bloom chaos can be more effective the next day when you spray it. Uh, so is, is this a microbial product as well, but also there's mostly just a, a calcium product? It's, it's mostly a calcium amino acid product. There's no microbes okay. in here. Okay. Um, and we like to, we, we want to keep that strictly nutritive for sure. the, the okay. access, for the, for, the, for the BK to have access to the so calcium. So that's the difference here. between your other products and this one is that yeah. it's, it's more of a food. Tr type. Triggers are, are one product that is not a microbial. The Dr. Fruit, the Easy Tea Veg, and the Easy Tea Bloom are, are all three oh, okay. microbials. But we want to like we want to make a growth stimulant. Sure. You know, okay. we want to make a cal an available calcium product for the BK spray. So while we're talking about foliar sprayings, and you're going to be foliar spraying Bloom Chaos uh -huh. mid delay veg after you get enough calcium in it. Well, the trigger can make sure that your plant is always primed with enough calcium so the BK can can do the best it can after you spray it. Next. Okay, now is this always, in other applications, would use this as a root feed or was it always a, a foliar? Uh, it's uh, predominantly a foliar. Okay. And the reason why is because we want that coat, calcium to coat every single oh, square okay. inch of the plant. Um, right. But what we have found through trials and tra testing, thank you Pig Farmer for, for putting this through uh -huh. the use, through the ringer, mm -hmm. um, is when you drench it, not only do we see a green up effect, if you have like a uh -huh. kind of lime green yellowing plant and yeah, you yeah. drench it, sure. it greens up extremely fast. Uh -huh. But on top of that, um, we find that you get relatively the same growth benefits if you drench it because it acts as a transporter, a transporter of like energy and a transporter of all the okay. other molecules in the soil into your plant. So we, we kind of look if you if you drench it, it's like a booster shot. Okay. Okay. You know. Awesome. Um, but you still get the same growth rates as you do if you foliar spray it. Uh -huh. Just everybody has their own different type, okay. different approaches. Uh -huh. um, and so it's, it's it's a similar effect, but a little bit different. Okay, so um, you're doing this, you got, then what about the, the Photo Plus? So the Photo Plus, I really like it. People use it in their teas. It's a good tea additive because it has a photosynthetic bacteria. Um, Which is unique to this over uh, pretty much anything else. Anything else, else. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. And then they kind of, their claim to fame is their photosynthetic right. bacteria. Uh -huh. I really like Photo Plus because uh -huh. of that consortia. Right. Okay. Um, and so what Photo Plus does is these little bitty microbes land on your leaf uh -huh. and they take all the photons from the light that normally has to, you know, the, hits the leaf, and then from the leaf it has to absorb, and then the plant has to turn it through photosynthesis into glucose or into ATP, sure. which okay. is the, the energy molecule okay. of the plant. Okay. So the plant has to physically convert the photons into usable energy. The bacteria are like your little workers, they're like your little helpers. So the bacteria, after you foliar, foliar spray it, do the converting, help, uh -huh. to help do the converting of photons into energy for the plant. So the plant doesn't have to just convert everything by itself. It's got a little helper to help convert all the photons into energy for the plant too. Okay. So that's kind of why we want to make sure we foliar spray photo. It smells like... Not good. Not good. <laughs> it, it, it's not smell pleasant. Um, but it's, it's a very effective product. And we want to foliar spray it and to make sure it lands on the leaves so the, the bacteria can do the job of converting uh, the, the photons. Okay. So we're using nectar. We're doing a foliar. You do this set up one day you do bloom chaos the next day bloom chaos by itself yep well water obviously but really yeah, bloom chaos yeah okay um you Pretty can also cool. put poseidon dime with the bloom chaos you can also put full power well with that's the what i was going to ask you so that as far as like this is your basic and this is like more than basic basic would be just this maybe but right. um what other things might you add into this uh for some you know as far as uh different stages of the plant growth or just uh some diversity kind of things totally. what other nectar products um you know, there's there are recipes out there. 
Okay, um, and the community, that, that yeah, incorporate yeah. And the different and... different products. Okay, um, but one of which, if you need like a nutritional a nutritional boost, say your plants are just like locked out, and uh -huh. I'm not getting any uptake. My plants starting to go deficient. Uh -huh. Micronutrients probably aren't going to cut it. Right, kelp probably isn't going to cut it. Triggers probably not going to cut it. Uh -huh. Add Gaia. You know, Scott okay. recommends for your spraying Gaia, especially on clones, to kind of give them the, the food that they can't have access okay. to, especially with stressed plants or uh -huh. you have plants that are deficient. You got something going on. It's unhappy, yeah. obviously. Well, how would that manifest itself in the plant being unhappy? Well, you see the signs um, on the leaves? Yeah, you'll see the signs on the leaf. Um, you'll also see purple stems. Purple stems are um, a plant that's naturally, you know, vibrant and green. It's not supposed sure. to have purple stems. Okay, and then what would you see in the leaves? Uh, the leaves, you'll see either the intervenous yellowing. So okay. in between each vein, you'll see some yellow striping. Okay. You'll see some, um, you'll see the claw. You know, you, they start, get the claw down, yeah, okay, they look really yeah, unhappy. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. um, you also see like some start to have necrotic spots, narcosis. And, okay. And the necrotic spots start to happen on the edge of the leaves. Okay. And that just usually tells you it's hungry or it can't have access to something. The plant will tell you what it needs if you just listen. Okay. So it's, it's obviously going through something. You give it mm -hmm. some foliar to get it through this thing, but exactly. would you flush? Uh, yeah. If you ever have, take a slurry. The number one thing is whenever your plants are like wigging out, mm -hmm. take a slurry. Okay. Find out what your PPM and find out what your pH is of your soil itself. Then from there, you can be like, whoa, my part per million is at 700 and my uh -huh. pH is at 5.9. I need to do something. At the same time that you, the, the corrective action is flushing, uh -huh. right? Right, sure. Using a Herc flush. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, probably around 6.6 .6 pH. Sure. And, and make sure you just you hit the Herc one or two flushes at a time. But at the same time that you're flushing, full your spray. Full your spray with the Gaia, full your spray with the Poseidon Dime, full your spray with the Trigger, and all that, all three of those things uh -huh. combined will be uh -huh. like a, a neutral, nutritive boost. It's like an IV when you go into the hospital, they give you the IV. Yep, and it has your full, full, all your I gotcha. salt, all your vitamins, all uh -huh. the things you need uh -huh. inside. To get you through this thing exactly. while you're getting fixed up. All your electrolytes. Very so, cool. Yeah. And so I would use, you know, uh, Gaia as a good nutritive source of your full your spray. Uh -huh. um, if you're trying to increase resin output, uh, alternating between Bloom Chaos and Kraken okay. has been shown to increase resin output too. Okay, okay. Um, so it just cool. depends on what you're trying to do. This is just a very standard approach oh, to foliar spraying. Okay. If you want to spice it up a little, you know, depending on what you're doing, you have different additives that you can use to spice it up based on the nectar product. So, and you could do this correctively or just for good fun? Yep, and it, it, it doesn't hurt if the plant's healthy. It actually can increase growth rates if the okay. plant's healthy. And if the plant's struggling, it's a great way to prevent it from, from really taking that hit. It's a good way of rejuvenating it and reviving it and getting it right back on track. Okay, so I'm doing a feed, feed, flush, feed, feed, tea kind of situation mm -hmm. with, my, with my, my feed. I'm feeding every day. Yep. Um, when would I foliar? So I like to foliar um, anywhere from two to three times a week. Okay. And especially with the trigger, uh -huh. we find the best growth rates from trigger. And some people have been saying, I'm not seeing the, the proper um, uh, effects from trigger that okay. everybody's saying it. And it's like, how often are you foliar spraying? And they're like, well, once a week. And it's like, uh -huh. you drench trigger once a week. Uh -huh. You foliar spray trigger two to three times a week. Oh, so I like okay. to foliar spray two to three times a week. Yeah. I actually alternate. Um, so I'll do like this, uh, I'll do this foliar spray. Okay. BK, okay. Bloom Chaos, yeah. and then I'll do this for your spray, my IPM. Okay. And I'll do this Some for sort of light, light oils or something yeah, like that. Yeah, light something. oils. I also use, um, there's Armory. Use a, a, okay. a bioinsect, a biofungicide. Oh, okay. The Myco insecticides. Okay. No or flies. No fly, that kind of thing. Right, exactly. Okay. So um, you can use all of all of those all right. on your on your IPM days too. Okay. So whether you use an oil base, whether you use an enzyme, whether you use a bio pesticide, you know, use that oh, on your okay. IPM day. So, so I'm I'll double go. bubble on this, yep. and then the day after that, I'm doing an IPM maybe one time, and maybe doing my Bloom Chaos the other time. Yeah, well, is that correct? Yeah, well, we just want to make sure when you, before you spray Bloom Chaos, you at least get trigger. I'll on always there. get the trigger on there because just pr it primes it with sure, the calcium. Sure, sure, Bloom sure. Chaos is gonna use that calcium. Okay, and if the calcium's not there, it's gonna use the nitrogen or the potassium, and it's gonna cause toxicity. Okay. So that's why I, I say this standard spray, uh -huh. Bloom Chaos, standard spray, IPM, standard spray, Bloom Chaos, standard okay. spray, okay. IPM. Very and cool. that's my general approach of how I, one, prevent bugs, and two, make sure I get the growth rates I'm trying to get out of my plants. Okay. Very cool. So, Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So that was fun. I hope you learned something from that about foliar feeding. I got more videos with him, some more other stuff coming as we're going along. Uh, tomorrow, I think maybe we'll have another one of those videos, but also we'll probably do a little short uh, announcement show, something with the uh, winners, the contest. I think we still got a contest where we had where we need to pick some winners for that. Uh, how you get your stuff from the other contest, uh, some stuff coming up. I'm rambling. That's the show for today. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.
For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the code OCGFAM2018. It's going to save you 20% and you're going to have a lot of fun. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.